Hello, good morning. Hi. Hello, my people. First off, like this for a 0.02% chance of getting a Tesla. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're a part of me lives infected when I was broken. So I'm about to go walk in the treadmill. I only walk every few days about honestly like a mile, but you know what? It's a start. I do it for my mental health and honestly for this potential condition I have that I still need to get tested for. But I'm already starting the lifestyle prevention because the only reason I'm even trying to get tested and I'm like really pushing that right now, it's because the symptoms have been really intense. And I do notice that if I sit in one place too long, it just makes it worse. So yeah, <laughs> how are you my people? Hello, I posted a cover of a song and I'm such a perfectionist. I was like, this is bad. Everyone's gonna think it's bad. And then it didn't do as well on TikTok and I was really sad. The comments were all really, really, really nice and so appreciated. It was just annoying because I typically spend like two seconds on my TikToks and this was one I actually spent a really long amount of time on. I had so many technical difficulties while I was filming it. It just, it kind of hurt. I worked hard on it. Anyways, I also have just been beating myself up because I I was so busy last week. I have really bad ADHD and I'm really mean to myself about it and I really don't like it. I take medication for it, but sometimes that just isn't enough for me. First I shot in my new merch and then I forgot it in an Uber and this merch company already had to send me a second round of merch because they accidentally sent me smalls and like I'm not a small. And that was kind of hard too, like trying on the smalls and not having them fit, you know. And then I thought I lost my laptop. I was like, I am dumb. I can't do anything right. Right. I keep losing everything. I'm not on track of anything. I've just had like a really stressful week and it was just like the thing on top when there's just so much going on because I have to put in the extra mile to be kind to myself sometimes. And I'll have days where I'm like, you are doing great. You are amazing. And then I'll have other days where I'm just like, you do everything wrong. And it's probably past trauma. It's probably having a lot of pressure on myself for a really, really, really long amount of time. Like having to pay my own rent since I was like 16. Kind of a weird thing to live with and deal with. Yeah, I don't know. And then like with the song, there were so many technical difficulties and I put all this effort in and it didn't even get that many views. And I was like, I am horrible at prioritizing my time. I forget everything. I found my laptop by the way. It's just been a lot of like being really hard on myself. So I'm trying to be better. I'm trying to get better at it and tell myself about the things that I'm doing right. Hey Fender, hi. What were you doing? I heard you running around and being crazy. Fender came out and talked about his herpes on his Instagram. I'm very proud of him for his authenticity. You just see his tail in the front. What else is new? Hopefully releasing this merch soon. I've always wanted to turn this phrase into merch, so I'm really excited. Yeah, sweetie, yeah. Ah, <laughs> he didn't like that. Cute, do you see this? It's cute. Ow, that kind of hurts, dude. Ow. Ow! He wants to play right now. He like really wants to play. So that's kind of what's going on currently. But you know, trying to be easier on myself. When I exercise, I typically like just get better. I know you want attention. Just like better feel good endorphins and I'm hopefully fostering this cat soon. Today I'm filming a few covers with Cami Petten. She is also gay. <laughs> We want to turn some like songs by male singers and so on into little mini gay love songs for TikTok. So that'd be fun. Listen, I don't know if you'd believe in astrology, but it's really bizarre. We have the same exact astrological chart. We have the same sun, moon rising. She's so bad. If you do not know who she is, her middle name is bad. Okay, I'm gonna go. I love you and I will see you soon, daddy. I'm out, I'm out. Hello, it's currently the next day and I forgot to keep filming. I am so sorry. Currently also like 2.30 p.m. But hey, you know what? That is okay. We are getting used to this. I just did my makeup. I walked around, got a pumpkin spice latte and got it iced the first time. It's not as good iced. It really isn't. I'll turn this into like a little weekly vlog. If you hear birds in the background, I turn them on for Fender because I think he gets lonely. And when I'm busy, like I feel bad. I don't have time to play with him. So here we are. <laughs> but anyways, I 
filmed a cover with Cami. I'll show you that soon. And I've been editing my merch photos. I'm really excited for this merch. And if the merch is out by the time I release this video, I'll insert the photos on the screen. and if I don't, this is awkward. <laughs> what is going on today? I have like a lot of full day shoots I have to do. I have one Thursday that's really exciting with a brand that I love, like really love. I probably can't talk about it yet. And then tomorrow I'm just gonna get content for all the platforms, kinda all day-ish. What did I do this morning? I sent in vocals, sent in some content for a few brands that I needed to send in, cleaned my room <laughs> as much as I could. I have a new hyperfixation every three days to every week. I would say, and last week it was the royal family tea, weirdly enough. I watched all the clips from The Crown with Princess Diana. It was particularly Princess Diana. People were like, how do you take in so much content? It's because kind of like how I was in school. I'm a smart so like I skip past scenes where I'm like, I know what's gonna happen. Or if I get too much secondhand embarrassment, I'll skip past a scene. Kind of like when I was in school, if the teacher was going on about something and I was like, I literally know the answer to this. And if she handed out the homework already, I got in trouble for this all the time. I would do my homework in school because I was like, I know what the teacher's talking about. Again, I was a smart I don't think it was very smart. It wasn't very nice. I had pretty bad issues with patience and I was just like, I already know what's gonna happen and I would skip it. But anyways, because of that, I'm really good at predicting. Watch Squid Game and spoiler here, skip past if you have not seen it. I was like, I know that's gonna be his brother behind the mask. It's so obvious. I don't know, I'm so used to predicting things. So people are like, how do you have the time to do it all? Also, I'm a massive introvert. So last week it was Princess Diana. Last night, I've been really into musical theater. I had to teach myself how to say theater right because I have a Jersey, I don't even know if this is a Jersey accent. I'm from, jo <laughs> I'm, not say I'm not saying Jersey like with the Jersey accent. I'm from New Jersey. And and I say certain things with the accent, I have random words. Like I'll say instead of room, see, I have to train myself. I say room. It sounds like rum. It's so weird. A lot of people notice it in my song Skeleton. I say skeleton. Yeah, that's how I say it. Was no, no, I'm not doing it. Jersey accent. There you go. But anyways, I was looking up new animes to watch and somehow this cover of a song from Death Note, the musical came up and I was like, Death Note, the musical? What the heck? I love that anime. It's one that I rewatch all the time. I love mystery, psychological-esque shows because I like to rewatch them and try to find things that I didn't notice the first time. Anyways, so it looks like the musical was performed in Japan and they made an English concept album. They haven't done like an English performance so someone did on youtube no spawn the album's like not even on spotify so there's no way they benefit yet i guess but anyways it's the japanese subtitles and then whenever there's a song they insert the english one which is really cool and the performer that is playing light singer i used to watch a show called smash he's in that he's in like so much he's from tangled the series which i still need to watch or skip around in true jesse fashion he sings the english album and like i've been obsessed with the soundtrack i didn't know that weeb music musicals were a thing, but I'm here for it. <laughs> I am here for it. So anyways, I'm doing a shoot tomorrow in my Shigo costume and <laughs> I want to try it on. We will see how it fits me. I got it off Amazon, so it's not like an Etsy seller where they just like are really good and talented. Every costume we've gotten from an Etsy seller has been like top tier. Anyways, I'm gonna try it on. I'm gonna let you guys know how it fits. Let's see. Ah, okay. All right, everyone. I probably need a bra, but I shall show you. I just need black lipstick and see. What? Is that me? I have black lipstick. Or I did. I lose everything, I swear. Do I even have black eyeshadow? Do I try it? Is this bad? Is this bad for me? Fuck it. I already went this far. Let's get a new makeup brush. People are probably cringing. I just need to not lick my lips or anything. Oh, I need a tripod. All right. Why is this working? To be really honest with you guys, I did not expect this to work. Where do I put things? 
done this tomorrow when I'm actually taking the pictures. Why don't I put on all my lip colors with a brush? Now I think I have to put on a little more concealer to even it out. I'm not a beauty guru, can you tell? I'm like, uh, what? What do I do? All right, this is a dress rehearsal. How fun. What a great bonding moment for us. All right. I kind of want to like smoke out my eyes a little more. Watch this mess it up and then I'm like, no! More smoky. I like it for this. Maybe not for every day, but it's fun. Why is this side not working, but the other one is? It's good enough for a few TikToks. Here we go. It looks way better from this angle because like you get the direct lighting. Like it probably made it look more uneven than it is. There we go. Yay. <laughs> Yay. I like it a lot. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's do this. Now I'm going to film a few TikToks. Wish me luck. This is fun. I love the villain. The villain's always my favorite. I relate to the villain more because they're anti-establishment and they typically have like loads of trauma. And not to joke about my trauma, but that's just very relatable for me. So that is where you're the same. I should make my eyebrows a little darker too, actually. Doing this in the phone camera probably isn't the best idea, but you know, we do what we have to do. This is hard. I don't like makeup. It's stressful. I wasn't planning on taking this this far. And now I'm like, oh, well, I guess I can't turn back. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go film some TikToks. It's just fun, okay, bye. So we're going to be ranting about this, I guess. I just did a bajillion TikToks. I promise it's not all I do all day. I just did it for fun. I was not planning on doing this, but you know what? We're here now. Let's put this here so I can sit on the bed. Oh my God. This is so funny to look at. So I did a video and it went up for a little bit of time and then I never actually posted it. And my thoughts are totally different now than what they were when I actually made that video. It was like an update on my sexuality. So I wanted to kind of just talk about it. It's like a question I get pretty often. Are you bisexual? Are you still bisexual? Why do you use the word gay? No, 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 no. So I thought I would elaborate. Fender, you can come here or don't. <laughs> End of 2019, early 2020, I definitely thought I was only into women. And then I kind of went through a little phase of experimentation to see how I still felt about men. It's really confusing because there's always one that's kind of missing when I date men. Like I'm not sexually attracted or I'm not romantically attracted. It's hard for me to get the two when I'm dating a dude. So <laughs> maybe it's just that I haven't dated enough men. But anyways, I recently recently have been really feeling in touch with the side of myself that also likes men. And I feel like I talk about my sexuality so much online and people would think I'm taking advantage of that if I'm not quote unquote gay enough. But the thing is, you know, if you're bisexual or if you're a lesbian or if you're a gay man, whatever it is, you are gay enough to talk about your experiences. There's no not being gay enough to talk about your experiences. But anyways, I made this video where I basically was like, I don't think I'm attracted to men. And now I'm kind of making this video and I'm like, I actually do think I'm also definitely attracted to men. And by men, like it's a very specific type. I think I'm not attracted to hypermasculinity. It's really weird because I hear a lot of girls talk about things like height, muscles and all that. And I'm just like, I can't relate. Every guy I've dated has been shorter than me actually. And I never really cared. Guess I kind of like guys that are more in touch with their feminine side. Soft gamer boys, artsy boys. Definitely not like the gym rat, ripped. 6'5 type. Honestly, most of the guys I've dated, everyone thinks they're gay because they're just very feminine. Also, you can be a feminine guy and not be gay. It's just a stereotype, but it's more of just to like prove my point that I really think I just have a very certain type. I will say when I go on dates, a lot of the time I'm like, I really miss dating women. It's just something to think about. I'm still young-ish. I'm 22. I have time. I'm not getting married. I'm not having children. I as of right now, I still don't even know if I'm going to have kids. I've thought about it a lot. As you know, I suffer from a lot of mental health related issues and I wouldn't have kids if I don't feel as if I have a good handle on my mental health. I definitely think I'm getting there, but I just, I know about the impact of having a child. When you have unresolved problems, when you don't know how to deal with your mental health issues, when they remain undiagnosed, that's kind of my whole standpoint on it. And then obviously having kids is expensive and crazy, but also I would love to have mini Jesse. <laughs> Anyways, I guess I think I'm still attracted to boys. 
men. The word men sometimes makes me, ugh. I wanna be careful about saying the word boys. I feel like I still sometimes call myself a girl and a woman, I do both, because I'm still like young-ish, I think. Oh my God, I'm like wearing a bra for the first time and it hurts my I don't like this, ew. I only put it on because you could like see the boobs through it. I was like, oof, uh, <laughs> it's a little too much to give. <laughs> Anyways, I felt so oddly guilty about also being attracted to guys because I've made a lot of content in the past. And the truth is ultimately I have dated more women. I say woman weird, w women, women. Okay, Cammy helped me yesterday. You put an I in front of it, women. I've dated more women, but oh my God. Did you see me just think about it for a second? Anyways. Yeah, I don't know. I like using the word gay to describe myself. I love gay content. I'm still bisexual. I still mostly date women or non-binary humans. I could even see myself if I were to date a guy. Honestly, if he was bisexual as well, that would be great. So much stuff I wouldn't have to worry about the two of us, hopefully. You never know, it can still happen, but you know, where we understand each other a little more and you don't need to worry about certain comments. <laughs> but yeah, that's kind of where I stand because I feel like I talk a lot I'm like, oh, I'm I'm gay, whatever, and like, I think gay at this point is an umbrella term. People are like, well, why don't you use the word lesbian? Is it because you're lesbophobic? And I'm like, no, it's actually that I'm bisexual with like a preference for dating within the LGBTQ plus community. Ow, I really don't like this. The heck? How do people wear these for more than 10 minutes? I think being gay is a whole thing you encompass. I mean, I'm on my colorful bed in a Shigo costume and I think that's gay in itself. I haven't been in a relationship with a guy since I've come out actually, so I've only been in one relationship with a guy and it was my first boyfriend. I had never even really done anything past kissing with a guy until 2020. I was like, so maybe I don't like this. And I'm still like, you know what, I don't completely know without getting into detail. A lot of my crushes, they happen to be guys that are famous or fictional characters. And I know that's sometimes a sign of something called comp head. It's like the feeling that you need to be attracted to men and it's like a subconscious thing that a lot of people feel. I don't know exactly how to feel about it yet, but for now I'm like, oh, I'm definitely still attracted to dudes as well. I am, but you know, we're figuring it out. None of you guys would say this. It's more of some random old man finds my video eight days later and he doesn't subscribe to me where he's like, it's because of trauma with men. And I'm like, no, I've had trauma with more than just men. It's definitely just me explaining attraction, but okay. Fender, come on. You get all cute! He's so cute! I love him! He's my baby! He's like, no, stop it! Stop it! Okay, I'm sorry. Does anyone else make things plural when they talk to their animals? Look at the baby! Love you! You're so special! He's like, get away! <laughs> Anyways, I just wanted to give a little update and that's kind of where I am. I'm still figuring it out. I haven't even had enough experience with guys to completely know how I feel. Definitely don't question the gay side. It's more of just the like still being attracted to men thing. But like they're both really strong and they're both really different. Not in a bad way, like one's better than the other. Well, probably, I mean like obviously prefer to <laughs> date a woman. A woman, oh my God, a woman. Now I'm saying all of the, obviously. <laughs> ah! Anyways, I'm ranting. I really want to take this bra off. Like I really want to take it off and I want to go get food and edit some of those photos. Okay, I will see you soon. Oh my God, I can't wait to take this off. It hurts, ow, okay. Hello everyone. I'm going to probably end this video now. I feel like I got a pretty good amount of talking two days ago when I was kind of talking about like the update on my sexuality and stuff. So I just took some Shigo photos and I am obsessed with them. It was really sad because I did the Shigo makeup. I got ready and it took a long amount of time to curl my hair and do the black lip color again. And then it was dark outside already and I was like, oh no, what do I do? So it happened to have worked out where the hallway and the stairs looked really cool. And I'll put some of the photos on the screen. Go like them on Instagram. Support a young father and her son, Fender, please. I need to bring litter to the box, food to the table. <laughs> litter to the box? I 
hope you all enjoyed this. I'm thinking for the next video like this, I do some sort of experiment, kind of like those videos I used to do where it was like, I copied Denina's Instagram for a week and you didn't know. Maybe I even bring that video series back. That was one of my favorite videos to do. So let me know if you have any ideas for that sort of video because I think we need to bring it back. My people, I love you. I'm gonna feature your pages on the screen. Ow. <laughs> as well as your posts. And I promise I'll vlog more of the action, but I'm still getting used to this. So maybe if I have like a challenge in place, it'll really get me used to like filming in public, filming around other people again. So yeah, I love you. Love you so much. And go like the Shigo photos on Instagram because they're hot. I kind of want to go down emo baddie cartoons list. I want to do an adult version of Sam from Danny Phantom or like the girl from Total Drama Island with the blue streaks in her hair. I don't know. Yeah. I want to go and do that. Anyways, I love you so much and I hope you're enjoying all these videos. I will see you soon. Goodbye. You're a part of me left infected when I was broken. Limbo together You said forever, never